Hey, it's Mark John Jeffries. We're watching Real Fans, Real Talk. Real Fans, Real Talk.com. Well, Arthur Diamond's trip young and intern Tom for the white and black fans. Asia to Manhattan. I'll get all my facts from my bro, Mark the Stats, man. If you're not tuned in, I recommend the cat. One is your boy, Legend of Two Games, repping for Real Fans, Real Talk. If you're in the New York City area, you should be tuning in every Thursday night, 8 p.m., Verizon Channel 44, man. We're going to be back on the air tonight. We want to touch on some sports topics before we get on the air. Also, I want to send a big shout out to my man Cortez. He invited me out to the video shoot for Bodega. Visuals came out dope. If you haven't checked it out already, definitely go on his uh, YouTube. Subscribe to his YouTube page, Cortez Mag. Uh, videos up there. Your boy makes a cameo, so I'm, I'm feeling like a star now. But that's neither here nor there, man. Let's get into some sports talk. Um, want to talk about this Richard Sherman situation going on in Seattle. But before I do, I definitely want to commend and applaud Kevin Love and DeMar DeRozan for openly speaking out with some mental health issues that they're dealing with as far as anxiety and depression. I think it's amazing, absolutely amazing that two men, two NBA All-Stars, two guys that are on that platform had the courage to come out and speak on this topic. I think it's a topic that we should all be addressing and all speaking about because there are a lot of young men and women who are dealing with some of these issues who may not have the courage or may not feel comfortable speaking on these matters yet. So to see two All-Stars do it, I, I greatly appreciate it and applaud you guys for the courage that you're displaying by doing that and creating this dialogue. Uh, I'm also, as a big time sports fan, I'm very proud of what I've been seeing throughout the sports world, the support that these two men received. But also about a month ago, Johnny Manziel came out and talked about some of the mental health issues he's been having as well. And to see three well-known athletes, obviously these two guys, DeMar DeRozan and Kevin Love on a much higher uh, platform than uh, Johnny Manziel. But to see these three young men come out and openly speak on it and start this dialogue up is truly amazing. And with everything that's going on within the country, we know that there are a lot of people dealing with depression, dealing with anxiety, dealing with bipolar disorder, who, like, again, may be a little, you know, timid to start the conversation. And so to have these high profile athletes start the conversation, I hope it continues to expand and I hope we continue to show the support to these people that need it. With that being said, I definitely want to get into this Richard Sherman situation that's brewing out in Seattle. Uh, it's been brewing for about a year and a half now. We saw before the start of this past NFL season, the Seahawks were flirting with the idea of trading Richard Sherman. Richard Sherman easily is one of the most popular players in the league. He's probably, the uh, uh, maybe aside from Steve Largent, uh, and that's really taking it back, but he may be the best player in franchise history. Um, and he's a guy who really put the Seahawks on, on the map. Uh, he was very brash and outspoken early on in his career, but he backed it up with his play. All pro cornerback, helped lead them to a Super Bowl, helped lead them to another Super Bowl that they eventually lost. Um, very, very good football player, but also has uh, been very outspoken during his time there. And apparently it looks like Seattle is ready to move on from him. Um, we just saw them trade Michael Bennett, who's another Pro Bowl player on their defense. Richard Sherman would be the second key piece of their defense that would lead that team. Uh, but he's not done playing, and he's got a lot of game left, and I do think there is one team that would fit him best. Uh, but one of the points I want to touch on before uh, who he should go to is his impact not only on the game, but in being outspoken, outspoken sorry, about social injustice and outspoken about the way black athletes are treated through the media uh, has been very, very uh, pivotal and very important for the movement we've seen throughout multiple uh, sports leagues. He's one of the superstars that has put himself in, on, on that level and on that platform where he can speak out about things that are going on in the world. So I like Richard Sherman. We recently had a former teammate of his on the show uh, and Walter Thurman III who also talked about Richard Sherman and the quality of person that he is. And for those of you that maybe just think he's an outspoken guy or a big mouth, do a little bit of research on the guy. The guy's very intelligent. He went to Stanford. This is a guy from the inner cities um, who could have went the typical athlete route and went to a powerhouse football school. Not to say Stanford isn't, but he could have he could have gone to a multi uh, 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 multiple schools. He had offers to go all over the country, but he chose Stanford for a reason because he's a very intellectual guy very smart guy, very aware, very conscious of what's going on in our world, in our society. So I hope, I'm hoping that the reason the Seahawks are looking apart with him had nothing to do with off the field stuff. And what I mean by that is I hope that his outspokenness 
didn't interfere with the value of his play. Um, Michael Bennett is another guy who was outspoken for them. He was traded away. His situation is a little different because obviously he had a very high salary number uh, for a team, again, that's up against the cap in, in Seattle. But to see Richard Sherman leave and knowing that he might be the best player to ever play for the Seahawks, definitely one of the, one of the most popular guys, not only in the league, but for that organization, that franchise. And the fact that he was such a big part of turning that city and that team into a champion, uh, I hope they aren't looking to part ways with him just because of his outspoken at the top. So let me know what you guys think, man. If there's another team you think is a better fit for Richard Sherman, send in your comment, man. Let me know what you guys think. And remember, if you're in New York City, tune in 8 p.m. every Thursday night, Verizon Channel 44. Check myself out, Statman, Trip Young, Ladybug. Shout out to the whole crew, man. It's Real Fans, Real Talk, and I'm Legend of Two Games. Real Fans, Real Talk.com. Where Arthur Domus, Trip Young, and Intern Tom. For the white and black fans, Asia to Manhattan. I get all my facts from my bro, Mark.